All right, uh, I'd like to welcome everyone here to our uh, event to uh, support Kimmy Getz for her uh, Olympic and World Cup tryouts. Uh, this uh, is going to be videoed, for, uh, photography taken, and then an online video sent to Kimmy showing her support from her hometown neighborhood. So appreciate everyone coming out on a Sunday to support this uh, Olympic hopeful and uh, show her hometown support that everyone in Flemington is uh, cheering her on. Uh, with this, I'd like to bring up uh, Kimmy's parents, Linda and Roger Getz, who'd like to say a couple things. Go ahead, I can talk. Thank you, thank you very much. I'd like to thank everybody, especially the township, fire department, rescue squad, police, uh, for coming out and helping support this. Um, all the neighbors and friends who have been here and helped support Kim throughout the years. Uh, everybody that's known her, Scott, ever since like this tall and skating up and down the street here with our neighbors who tolerated our girls doing that uh, at a young age. Um, we'd just like to thank you all for your support, your continued support, and help cheer Kimmy on, uh, hopefully for the Olympics. Thank you very much. Thank you everybody for coming. I really, I've wanted to do this for years and it's finally happening. Um, right now, Kim is ranked ninth in the world in the thousand and 12th in the world in her 500. So I, you know, I'm beyond hopeful that her dream is gonna come true in less than a month and she's gonna be going to Beijing and that's, that's my hope. Um, we're going to know next week how many Olympic spots are going to, that they will be eligible for. I'm hoping for three. Um, the International Skating Union will determine the Olympic spots sometime this coming week. The kids are still in Calgary racing today. They'll be home tomorrow so hopefully by midweek or Friday we'll get an idea of how many spots there'll be but I will be posting it's going to be Olympic trials from what I understand will be on NBC Sports Network so I will list the times and so forth for anybody that wants to watch and cheer and Hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, you'll see Kimmy Getz of Flemington, New Jersey on the U.S. Olympic team, which should be awesome. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, each and every one of you, um, for everything. For Tara and Mark and Jen and Matt and Beth, my son, we let Chris, Frank next door, Frank is watch Kim grow up till she moved to Utah. Um, we are on the best street in Flemington, hands down. New York, New York Avenue. New York Avenue is great. So thank you all. Um, I'm delighted to see everybody out here today, but I'd like to address my remarks right to you, Kimmy, if that's okay. I remember very fondly in my first couple of months as the mayor that uh, along with Bob Benjamin, uh, we had a couple of very successful fundraisers over the year and one of, over the years and one of the things I learned early on Kimmy is that you are very easy to want to support you you work hard you have shown results you've gotten better and better your parents work incredibly hard to support you. I know that you work extra jobs out there in Utah in addition to skating for hours and hours every day. You've written a cookbook and sold it, which is pretty good, by the way. And um, everything that, and oh, and besides that, you are a really nice person. <laughs> we like you, and all those things together just make it so easy to want to support you. I could say go to Beijing and make us proud, but you've already made us proud. So thank you for what you've done, how you've represented Flemington, and we wish you nothing but the best.
I was able to join in and help with the fundraisers he referred to. And although it's work and a little nerve wracking, we had so much support in the community and we thank you for that. But the really important thing I would like to share with the community and with Kimmy is to thank her for the honor of making this journey with her throughout these years. I've never supported a potential Olympian. I'm delighted to do it. I'm on pins and needles on the day she competes because Linda's sending me these texts. <laughs> she's doing this, she's doing that. Whoops, she fell. Oh, <laughs> she's back up. Okay, you know. And I admire Kimmy's incredible stick with itness for such a young person to have that strength, a character, and ability to hang in tough because her first Olympic attempt met with some difficulties. So we wish you the best. We are with you, our spirit is with you, and we are very proud of you, Kimmy. Best of luck. <laughs> Kimmy, this has been coming for a long time. I've been working with your mom for I don't even know how many years, trying to make this happen. And honestly, this is all for you. You make us proud every day, keep it up, we're so glad that you are part of our hood. Hi, Kimmy. This message is for Kimmy, obviously. Um, we're very impressed and amazed with everything that you've done so far. And we know that there's just more greatness to come. And, um, you know, we're really proud to have you represent the United States. But more importantly, we are so proud to have you represent Flemington, New Jersey, and of course, New York Avenue. So good luck, keep killing it. Kimmy, uh, all of us at the Frenchtown Roller Rink couldn't be more excited and proud uh, to see our, hopefully our second Olympian uh, representing the United States. It was just a practice today. Coach Ben unfortunately couldn't be here, but uh, he sends his regards. The whole team sends our love. And rest assured, you're going to have an entire roller rink full of people cheering for you next week when you, uh, when you make the attempt and you make it. I remember when she was a little girl, she used to tell her mother that I made the best cheeseburgers. <laughs> Never forget that. Um, now she's off to the World Cup and hopefully a shot at the Olympics. Good luck. Thanks. Kimmy, I just want to say that um, you've made us so proud all these years. And uh, Flemington is behind you million percent, you know that, and we know that you're going to continue to make us proud. Work hard, give it your best, we're all behind you. Thank you. Hi, Kimmy. So we are new to New York Ave. We didn't grow up here when you were little. We weren't here for all the beginnings, but I have to tell you, you grew up on the best street in the world because your parents and the group of people that are here, Matt and I are honored and blessed to be a part of this street. So you have so much more going for you in here than those other skaters. So use that and kick some ass. For those who don't know me, I have probably been here uh, the longest, which makes me the oldest. But anyway, uh, Kimmy, here's good luck to you. Just remember, your heart's in Flemington. And... Uh, we wish you all the luck here, and we all stand behind you, and we watched you grow up, actually, because uh, I live right there across the street. <laughs> and I used to be one of the ones that say, ah, oh, the darn kids up and down the street, you know, the skates. <laughs> well, I, I didn't say what I really said. Anyway, <laughs> but good luck to you, and uh, we're all with you, and we'll all be watching you if we can get you on the uh, TV. Thank you. Good luck. Kimmy, don't really know where to start here. Just want to tell you I am beyond proud of you. 
Um, I'm really looking forward to Olympic trials. I know you're going to give it your all as you do in everything in your life. Um, you've had a great season. We've so enjoyed watching you on TV and seeing videos on YouTube and seeing pictures posted of you. We are 100 million percent behind you. I love you and I'm extremely proud of you. You go get them, Kimmy. Hey, Kimmy, I just want to say I'm really proud of you. Um, I love you and I can't wait to see you skate in Milwaukee. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Kim. We just want to take a second to say how proud we are of everything you've accomplished on and off the ice. We are so proud of you and we know this is going to be the best year yet. We love you. Hi, Kim. You know I'm not one that's much for interviews or speeches. I just want to say that I love you. I'm very proud of you and that I'll always be there cheering for you and always here if you need me. We'll see you in Milwaukee. Hey Kim, just wanted to send the best wishes before Olympic trials. We know you're going to do great. Your progress over the past few years has been amazing and we're so excited to watch you skate Olympic trials. Good luck and kick ass, girl. Hello, Kimberly. As you know, I am just so proud of everything that you've done over these past few seasons to become a truly professional athlete. You're the hardest worker I know and I'm just so excited to see you ripping it in this second half of the season. Good luck, skate fast and have some fun. Love you. Hi, Kimmy. Just wanted to wish you good luck. You are going to kick some serious butt. I'm so proud of you and how far you've come. Woohoo! Go, Kimmy! Hi, Kimberly. It's your godmother, Patty. Hello! <laughs> it's Allison. We just want to wish you the best of luck for the uh, Olympic tryouts. Um, we'll be watching, uh, hopefully. And we are all so proud of you. Yes, we are so proud of you and good luck and we will be watching the entire time. Yay! Go Kimberly! You go girl! Uh, hey Kimmy, Nancy and Jay here. Thank you very much for all the work that you've done so far. We are so proud of you. We're looking forward to seeing you in Milwaukee uh, in January and Kimmy, go get them. Yeah, we're really proud of you. I guess you can tell the background. We're doing this at your parents' house. Um, your brother's being kind enough to do it and help us out. But we wish you all the best. We know how hard you work, and we're just really very proud of you and love you very much. Best wishes and good luck with your next competitions. Hi, it's Uncle Alan. And Aunt Pixie. We're up in Fremont, New Hampshire, wishing Kimmy the best. I'll see you in Milwaukee. Go Kimmy! Go Kimmy! Send in love and luck. Hi there from your biggest fan in Kansas City, Missouri. Kimmy Getz, I am so proud of you and I am excited to share in your family's joy as you pursue your Olympic dreams and you continue to be courageous in all that you do. I love you and I'm so very proud of you and let's go USA. Hey Kimmy. Just wanted to say hello and congratulations. We are so proud of you. You have done so well and you've been working so hard. And here it comes, your chance for fame and fortune. Mm -hmm. Regardless of how you finish, we are very, very proud. And looking forward to cheering you on in January in Milwaukee. Can't wait to see you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Kimmy, it's me, your Aunt Marty. I'm giving you well wishes from Las Vegas, visiting some friends here and seeing my old boy Barry Manilow one more time. Thinking of you and so proud of you, and I'll be rooting and cheering you on. I love you, honey. Bye. Hi, Kimmy. It's Aunt Barb Rhodes. Um, I'm here just to tell you how proud I am of you of everything that you have done. Um, you're a fighter and I know you are gonna make it to the Olympics. And uh, just wanted to let you know, I'm, I'm here backing you up, cheering you on, and I love you. Bye-bye. Hey there, Kenny, this is Uncle Dan and Kathy here. 
First, we would like to congratulate you on your success in the World Cups. And we also want to tell you how happy and proud we are of you, that you're pursuing your dream. And we also want to wish you the best of luck in the upcoming trials for the Olympics. You've got this, Kim Burr. <laughs> we love you. Take care, kiddo. See you soon. Hi, Kim. My one of my favorite grandchildren. I love you and you know that. And you know that my heart is behind you all the way. And we'll be me and Joe. We're going to push you across that line. And you know that. We love you. You do the best that you can. And we will hope for the best. Shine. Good luck. Good luck, Yes. Okay. We love you. Okay. We wish you the best. All right. Love you. Love you. Good Bye -bye. luck. Hi, Kim. We just wanted to wish you the best of luck in the Olympic trials. We'll be rooting for you. Hey, Kimmy girl, we just want to wish you well. Coming from Flemington, we support you, we love you, and good luck. Good luck, kiddo. Back I'm dead. Hi, Kimmy. It's Barbara, Ron, and Zachary from Colonia, New Jersey. We are wishing you all the best of luck uh, in your Olympic trials and all that jazz. Uh, we love you. We're rooting for you, and um, all the best. All right, good luck, Kim. Way to go, Kimmy. Way to go. Hi, Kimmy. I'm so happy to share this video with you and be part of this. I just want you to know how much I love you. I want you to know how proud I am of you. I know that you have worked so hard, so hard over the years. And I know that all this hard work is going to pay off for you. Our Lord is with us, Kim. Your Lord will be with you. And I'll hold you in my prayers uh, during your tryouts. I want to wish you and your family a happy, very Merry Christmas and a happy holiday. And just know how much that your Tampa, Florida loves you and we're with you and we're thinking of you. God bless you. Love you. Hey, Kimmy, Patty Kerr here. I remember when the Getz family moved to New York Avenue and these two young girls skating up and down the street and up and down the street on their inline skates. You and Samantha really showed us what inline skating was all about. And then when you reached the pinnacle of that, you switched to ice and look where you're at now. I couldn't be more proud of you. Kim, honest to goodness, could not be more proud of you. You are amazing. You are inspirational. You are magical. But it's tough for me to talk about this without also talking about my dad. My dad truly became, I believe, your first and biggest fan. And I'm not just talking financially. I'm talking in every way. He believed in you with everything in his heart. He was excited to see your dreams come true. He loved watching skating on TV. And then after he lost his vision from the macular degeneration, he treasured your phone calls. You were and will always be a valued member of our family. And if you remember in my dad's final week, one of the people he wanted to talk to was you. And I hope you remember what he told you then. He told you even when he was no longer here physically, he would still be there watching over you. And when you got to the finish line, or the starting line, sorry, when you got to the starting line, he would be there sitting on your shoulder. So the next time you're at the starting line, remember all these people and all these videos today are those of us who are behind you, who are supporting you, who believe in you, and always remember you also have a very special angel sitting on your shoulder. I love you, sweetheart. I'm immensely proud of you. Now go get them.